What's up, everybody? This is Jeremy. Uh, I have a lot of PC users that don't really comprehend uh, what the menu bar is about on OS X and uh, how to use it and stuff like that, so I figured I'd make a quick video real quick. Uh, basically, on a PC with Windows, you've got uh, menu bars on top of each application that you can, you know, go to, file, edit, view, stuff like that. Where on a Mac you don't have that, which I like. It's a lot cleaner looking. But So the menu bar on a Mac is basically at the, it's at the top of the uh, screen and it changes every time you change applications uh, it'll change your uh, menu bar to the application that you're using. Like right now I'm on Adium. I've got an IM up. Uh, you can see it's got your preferences for ADM, your uh, different accounts that you're on, uh, you can copy and paste, stuff like that. you got all the different view options for, you know, uh, sorting contacts, hiding contacts, uh, and change your status. Uh, you can add contacts or groups, you can get information like profiles and stuff. Uh, you can change your font and all that, and you can see the different windows, like if you've got different items up, or you can go back and check your buddy list. Uh, and you can go over here and change to Skype, and then your menu bar changes to Skype. Uh, you got your preferences, you can check for updates, uh, close windows or chats, you know, copy and paste, uh, go into spelling, check it and make sure all that's correct. Uh, you can sort through your contacts. Uh, go in, change your status, change your password, your mood, your profile, stuff like that. Same thing for contacts. Uh, then over here you can go find out stuff about your Mac by clicking on the Apple. Uh, you can restart from here. You can force applications to quit. Um, you can, I'll show you over here on the right side of the menu bar. Um, you can have different applications on it. Uh, this is ScreenFlow. I can actually, this is where I'll go when I stop my recording. Uh, and I've got Adium, which this one's custom. It's got the little guy from Bubble Bobble. If anybody uh, remembers the NES game Bubble Bobble. Uh, you can go in and check your different accounts and connect and disconnect. Uh, you can go into your options from here. You can set up uh, statuses like away messages, custom away, uh, you can have it show your iTunes. Uh, then I got Dropbox over here which is online storage. Uh, you get up to two gigabytes of free online storage with them. Then I've got my Zumo drive which is also online backup. Uh, which they have an application for the iPhone so you can uh, sync all your stuff on there and stuff. Uh, Got hyperspaces, which is really cool. You can actually uh, go in here, close this stuff real quick. Uh, you can go in hyperspaces and set up a different background for each space that you've got. Uh, then you've got dock spaces, which I've not even set this up actually. I downloaded it and never mess with it. You can have a different dock for each space that you're on. Uh, like you have, if you, I have mine, I'm gonna set it up where iMovie, iPhoto, all that kind of editing stuff is gonna be one dock and then all my, my other stuff will be a separate dock. Uh, and I've got my mobile me syncing here where you can set up your preferences and stuff for mobile me. Uh, like what you want to sync on it. Then you've got your time machine preferences, or you can have it back up now or enter time machine. Uh, you've got all your Bluetooth here, your Wi Fi networks, which I got mine right here that I'm on. Uh, there's others I could join. You can create a network. Uh, you can join ones that aren't found automatically here. Uh, and you got your volume. Uh, you've got. Your time and date, you can view it as analog or digital, or you can open it and whatever. Then you got Spotlight, which you can type anything that you want to search for, like say you want to look up iMovie, comes up here, and uh, you can change the preferences on that where you can have like, right here I've got my applications on top, and then you've got your 
folders and documents down through here or you can you know go into preferences and change what you'd like to have at the top but uh, and that's the basics for the menu var menu bar on OS 10 and uh, I just thought I'd make a video real quick so all the uh, Windows users could see you know get an idea of what it's like so if you have any questions uh, feel free to send me a message or comment and ask uh, if you like, subscribe and leave comments, and I will try to get more videos up soon. Thanks. Bye.